Hey guys, this is Lucas. Uh, if you don't know already, um, I love inclusions. I do. I have a couple of videos right now on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> but to cut to the chase here, I got my new microscope in. Uh, thanks for all your support. And uh, <clears throat> uh, but today we have a um, something really cool. This is from. This is actually a uh, synthetic quartz crystal from a laboratory in Russia but was provided by um, a store in Orange, California called Nevada Mineral and, and Book Company. They have books, fossils, uh, you name it. Everything from uh, miners' needs all the way to, uh, you know, as far as like maps are concerned, all the way to, uh, you know, some, uh, some jewelry. Uh, I mean, they have a minerals, I mean, they have a bunch of stuff, and, uh, you know, it'd probably take you a good, you know, two weeks to go through everything in that store, but, uh, but anyway, without further ado, here we have, um, a synthetic quartz crystal that was provided, uh, by Nevada Mineral and Book Company, uh, but the crystal came from a laboratory in Russia, now, which lab, don't ask me, um, I could find out for you, just comment in a or post a comment in the comment section if you really want to know. I, I guess I could find out for you. But um, but what we're looking at here today is you're some people were mistaken and they thought it was a cat's eye, but this is not a cat's eye. Uh, forgive me of the my pointer probe. I don't have it at the moment. I have to improvise here. But this here is a seed plate, and it goes all the way around the entire crystal. Okay. And you're going to notice some things that are growing off the seed plate. Well, you're not seeing things. You're, in fact, correct. Those are called nail head spicules. I'll say that one more time. Nail head spicules. Nail head spicules are formed during the hydrothermal process. Um, as you can see here, uh, this is... Let me zoom out here. <clears throat> or in, rather. You can actually see right there, this really dark, these two dark inclusions here. This is actually the hook that hooked into the quartz, and they pull it out when they're done. Uh, let me see if I can get a... Oh, is that it? I saw it earlier. Maybe I view it from this side. Yep, there it is. So, you can see the hook inside the inside the quartz crystal there. Really neat. It's kind of fat. Oh, look, it's even going through the other side. Uh, it's going right through the seed plate. That's really cool. You, I mean, I don't really know too many people who could see that sort of uh, thing, but you can say that you have. So, once again, this middle line, this is the, this is the seed plate here. And, um, these sharp, uh, nail head spicules are really fascinating and some of you have actually uh, seen these before uh, you might recall maybe in a synthetic emerald uh, these are very typical in, uh, in synthetic emeralds um, you have flux grown emeralds you have hydrothermally grown emeralds which would have these uh, <clears throat> but really really cool stuff you can see how just sharp and jagged this is. I mean, that's that is just fascinating. So let me zoom back out here, and we are now at seven power. And uh, this crystal is rather large, actually, so it fits in my hand. So you can see all those those uh, spicules there. There's the hook again. There's the seed plate, and uh, you can even see some of the growth on the outside of the crystal. It's very unnatural looking. All this, you know. If we actually switch to here, there's actually a scientific term you know, term for this. I I have to look it up. But all this uh, this is weird just so odd I can't even begin to explain but it's a really cool crystal and just you know when you get to look at this stuff every day you really get to train your eye and 
you know, at least you'll have a reference now to go back to, like a video on YouTube, and, you know, if you ever see one of these uh, really sharp inclusions, I mean, look at that right there. I mean, those things are sharp. Let me zoom in here, there we go. I mean, there are thousands of them. But anyway, uh, this is a short video. I've got tons of, you know, tons of crystals and videos I have still have yet to post. So please uh, post comments or maybe things you want to see. I don't know, maybe a certain stone, like you want to see, uh, I don't know, opal or apatite or fluorite or, I don't know, some other stone under uh, magnification. And then uh, I'll see if I can get my hands on one and do a video for you. Thanks for watching.